On the 18th of June 1944, the 381st Bombardment Group broke from its pattern of hitting invasion priority targets and went to bomb part of Germany's oil industry in Hamburg. The enemy fighters didn't prove to be too much of a problem thanks to the escort provided and even with the heavy flak, the 381st managed not to lose a single bomber. The primary target will be Euro tank oil refinery and storage. Secondary target will be the Merck Wheeler oil production facility. Tertiary target will be the Hamburg oil refinery and storage. Ordnance selected will be 6x500 pound general purpose and 12x100 pound in centuries. The fighter escort will be one squadron of P-47s and one squadron of P-38s. Hi everyone, welcome back to B-17 and Mighty Oath. Uh, it's just coming up to 9.15 now in the morning on June the 18th, 1944. And we are up in formation just coming over occupied Europe now to sort of dropping down into Germany as we turn south uh, to try and bomb some oil facilities in Hamburg just in front of us you can see our escort zipping by which will hopefully keep us nice and safe today uh, you may be able to tell I'm slightly under the weather so uh, if uh, I start choking or coughing and uh, all my gunnery is off then uh, you please forgive me I'll, I'll put it down to the uh, the illness uh, but yeah we're gonna try and uh, have a clean drop on the facilities this morning and uh, get out of Germany as quickly as possible it's a lot of cloud cover as you can see um, it was really cloudy this morning it was really um, red sky in the morning shepherd's warning and all that kind of thing um, yeah, it was really uh, pink and uh, cloudy this morning as we took off from base. Uh, but heading south now, and hopefully um, not too long now until the decision point where we can take our weather forecast on the three target sites, uh, choose which one is going to be the best and most optimal to drop our bombs, and obviously we'll try and defend against any enemy fighters that come up our way as well. Okay, the time is 18 minutes past 9, uh, just coming up to 26,000 feet, and as you can see, we've reached the waypoint. So let us get the weather forecasts. Weather at primary target is believed to be stormy oh. with 9 tenths cloud at approximately 7,000 feet. Okay, what's the secondary like? Weather at secondary target is believed to be cloudy with 7 tenths cloud at approximately 7,000 feet. Oh dear. Weather at tertiary target is believed to be fair with three tenths cloud at approximately 7,000 feet. Okay, so the tertiary target, uh, which was all three were oil production facilities, so it doesn't matter which one we hit. Um, but we haven't seen the reconnaissance video of the tertiary target. But I think uh, primary target was stormy weather. That's not going to blow over anytime soon. Um, it was cloudy at secondary, but. Um, Weather at fair, target is three tenths cloud. Fair, so three yeah, that that is going to be our best um, best chance to get some um, bombs on target. So let's switch to secondary, and then switch to tertiary. There we go. So we're going for the tertiary target now, uh, which is fair weather, three tenths cloud. Okay, we've begun the bomb run, so let's have a look. Um, God. Yeah, this is three tenths cloud, the rest was stormy, if you recall. So, this is the best one that we've got. Um, I can't pick out anything at the moment. We'll wait till we get a little bit nearer. There are some breaks in the cloud up here, and a couple of little smaller breaks here, here, and here, which um, we may be able to get some. Invisibility of any ground target. Uh, I think there may be some something of interest under the crosshair anyway, um, but we'll just look, get a little bit closer. 
and see if uh, anything pops into view. Okay, coming up to one of those breaks in the cloud now. Uh, definitely industrial looking area down there. I don't see... Is that... Oh, no, wait. Is that it there? There. I'll lock that in for time being. No idea, to be honest. We've got some time yet. We've got this dark patch here, which could be something. Yes, indeed, it's our target. So it's uh, it's good that you confirmed that is Hamburg. Otherwise, um, that could be awkward. Right, let's get rid of this high-level cloud. Some low-level cloud as well. But and here comes the flak. Ooh. It's quite accurate. I can't see anything. Keep going, wait till we hopefully it clears. So we've got some high level cloud coming in again. I do not want to have to go around. Oh, this cloud's just getting thicker and thicker. Can't see anything. I don't think it's going to get any better. I think we're going to have to go around. Okay, we're going to have to go around on the bomb run. Not what I want to do. Bandits coming in apparently. Just as we're coming out of the flak. Seven o'clock. Oh. We're in a sharp turn. So we've got Mustangs um, giving us some cover. Which I thought we were having P-38s, but um, I'll take the Mustangs. P-38s are, P38s are fine, but um, yeah, I'll take the Mustangs any time. Can't see him. Formation is scattered a little bit because of the uh, the go round, and we're not in a particularly defensive formation. Okay, coming back into formation now. The aircraft coming in. We got smudge down there. Oh, terrible shooting. Go get him, little friend. You're right on him. A couple of hits on him. Indeed, he's smoking. Saving my ammo. So we've still got that... Um, 
group of fighters out there on the horizon, just below the horizon, in that bluey, cloudy area. There could be a second lot of enemy fighters coming up. Good hits on him, but he seems to be okay. Let's see where he went. Yeah, he's okay. Nothing vital hits, it would seem. Oh, and look in there. It looks like they're breaking up and sort of splitting up and coming in. Oh, fighter down low. Try and keep the fire in. Oh, we must have. Yeah, we turned him away early. Fantastic. Seven o'clock level. That could be that one we just sort of fended off. What about these what, These four coming in? Oh, hello. No one coming in. We've got four coming in here. I think these are enemy fighters. Judging by the way they're coming towards us. Yeah, no chance of reacting that quickly. Fighters down here. Now, if they were friendlies, they would not be doing that. So they've got to be enemy aircraft coming in. Coming in low though. Oh, maybe there's a friendly fighter between them. I can see them moving. Look at killing time. She's lost a big chunk of her wing. A lot of light passing through that. Looks like that as a flak. Near miss. I don't think cannons from the 109s would do that. I was wondering if uh, we're clear for the moment. Obviously we're flying back to the initial start point to begin the bomb run a second time and hopefully the cloud has shifted location so we can uh, get a bead on the target. Oh Jesus! That made me jump. Any sporadic fire at the moment. It's fairly accurate though. I don't want to change altitude or anything while the formation is just reforming and um, trying to get to the initial point to start the bomb run again. And we thought this was going to be the better of the three targets. Crikey. Okay, here we go. Starting the bomb run a second time. Um, it looks like the cloud has broken up a little bit. Wow. I don't know if that was... It looks like um, 109 cannon fire, doesn't it? An MG fire, but that could be shrapnel from a, a close flak burst. Either way, we're quite lucky. And we may find later that we um, we may have a little bit of a blood loss from a little bit of shrapnel nicking the uh, the bombardier. I think he may have locked on. I think maybe he was right first time, and uh, I should have trusted him to bomb through the cloud. But because I didn't get any visual clues, and I didn't see the target, I didn't feel comfortable just dropping. But once again, we got this chunk of cloud right in the wrong place again. Okay, here we go, nearing the business end now. And it's actually a little bit lighter, the cloud, you can see through it, despite it um, still being cloudy. You can see the river at the top. You can start to make out some of the um, markings on the landscape. It's waiting for the buildings to sort of pop into the view, really. Can't see anything obvious yet. Got some more high level cloud coming in, which is not great. This cloud going on. For oh, it's a huge swathe of cloud. And there's a, it's just about to make out the river at the top, so maybe we will get lucky and we can see through. Honestly, I'm still not seeing anything. Come on, let's have a building show up. 
Where is this oil refinery? Okay, it's cl clearing. It's clearing a little bit. Can you see the building? I do not see the target. I still do not see the target. Am I blind? I cannot see the target whatsoever. Right, I've seen it, I've seen it, I've seen it. We're just doing a... That's... Saw it at the last second, that really was... Just a reaction drop. Now that could... We didn't set it properly, so that could go anywhere. Right, let's make some course changes. Let's drop a thousand feet. Let's drop two thousand, in fact. Okay, we're starting to get under the flak, which is good. Gives our crews a bit of a respite. Hey, hi. Are your eyes over here? Is that them? Can't get my gun further down than that. Oh, it's not going to hop up. Got him. Good shooting, boys. We're going for our wingman. There's two lots. I can't get the gun over any further. Uh. For you, I can get. Oh, we got a B-17 going down. Okay, that... That, um... Bomber going down doesn't appear to be one of mine. My squadron. I see him. Oh, I pulled too hard. And the shot is going in front of him. Thunderbolt. Oh. Oh, we got a damaged bomber up high. Easing his way back into formation. I think he's from the high. Yeah, look at the damage on that wing. Crikey. Okay, give him a little bit of room, boys. He's um, not very healthy. Lots of hits into him, but nothing serious. No black smoke or uh, fuel leaking out. All turret gunners are... Give him a raking as well.
Oh, there's a, is this another group attacking? He's got a thunderbolt on his tail. Uh, two one and nines with two thunderbolts on their tails. So, okay, okay. Now that could be just the previous group. Hang high. Oh, here they are. Okay, first mate is in a little bit of trouble. Um, engine one is out, engine two is badly damaged and she can't stay with the formation. They're also struggling to uh, maintain a true heading. So they've left the formation now and they're diving down to a lower altitude where they can hopefully make their way back at their own pace. I'm going to keep an eye on them because it could be the case that I need to uh, manually fly this bomber all the way home because they should be skirting around these coastal islands, not heading directly inland because they'll just bring them back under the... Uh, the watch of the Luftwaffe, we do not want that. Hi everyone, uh, things have got a little bit worse for first mate. She's lost number en engine number three now and she's struggling to maintain altitude. So uh, we're going to have to um, ditch the aircraft. That is the UK coast. Um, we are well, we are dropping below 3,000 feet. We're actually climbing a little bit but we're kind of stalling out. So if I can hold it until we get a bit closer to the coast, around 3,000, then we'll bail out. Um, and hopefully these guys can survive. So sadly, we're going to have to bail out. And uh, valiant effort to try and get this aircraft back home. Within sight of home, engine 3 packed up. And uh, engine 2 is already running rough anyway, so we're basically running on engine 4. And it's just not going to be enough to keep her in the air. Uh, if we keep an eye on the parachutes, what have we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Good. All are out. Hopefully they survive their bit of a swim. And first mate is uh, in the drink. Okay, flaps down, gear down. Making our approach run for home base now. With lead flight. We're down and uh, we're going to taxi to the uh, dispersal pen now and um, get her shut down. I'll see you in debriefing. Okay, welcome to debriefing everyone. Let's find out how our bomb run actually went. Oh, not too bad. Um, mission date, 18th of June 1944. Hamburg oil refinery and storage was attacked. Distance flown was 1,203 miles. Bomb was lost, one. Which was first mate, which we tried to get home but couldn't quite make it. And enemy fighters shot down with five. Bomb damage estimate is high, which is I'm quite happy with, considering that was the last second... Um, spot and drop um didn't mean to do that <coughs> sorry uh so the intelligence officers report um confirmed only killed five confirmed losses one we got flesh wounds and light wounds from the crew uh a couple of fatal wounds from yoda um emig and uh, compton so they're probably from the the last guys to jump out of the first mate uh, bomber. So there we are. Um, there's the bomb damage uh, drop, which is quite interesting. That one's that is a so that's a bomber who's dropped that way. But it seems like everyone else has dropped that way. That's slightly weird. Hmm. But anyway, good um, damage on the target there. No promotions awarded. Um, purple Heart's been awarded. Mercer got a Purple Heart and a Distinguished Flying Cross. Um, Bishop got a Purple Heart posthumously. Um, they're all Purple Hearts. Another Yoda Purple Heart posthumous. Emig and Compton. Yeah, Liberty Bell was the uh, bomber that bailed out at the end there. Six active. Uh, one killed in action. And three wounded in action. Oh, okay, so... Bishop was from the bomber that bailed out. 
But the other one, Yoda and Emig, they must have been gunners or staff sergeant and what are they, staff sergeant. So yeah, they're probably gunners on some of the other B-17s and they've bled out on the way home. Oh dear, that's awful. So there we go, another mission under our belt. Sadly, we lost uh, we lost a bomber, but um, it looks like nine of those crew members were able to be rescued from the sea by the uh, rescue services, which is great, and they'll be able to rejoin and um, heal up, and they'll get a new bomber, and they'll be able to fly out with the squadron in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this B-17, the Mighty Eighth mission. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.